everybody. Hope everybody can see me. It's uh, uh, RRK said, good luck to me. Thanks. Um, it's my first time in, in, in the ICC. I know Larry Christensen and Joel Benjamin used to do the Grandmaster Simuls a long time ago, but this is my first one, so it should be pretty interesting. I've done the clock Simuls before over the board, a lot of chess camps, and I found, well, at the chess camps, I, I usually take an hour and, uh, and, and I give the opponents maybe something like 35 minutes and then they complain. They go, well, you have more time. I tell them, but I'm playing, I think the most people, amount of people I played was 17. Um, so usually what happens in those, I try to get off to a good start, but I was never a big fan of increment, but today I think I'm happy I have it because I, I, I don't think this would be uh, possible to do without increments. 25 boards is, uh, is a lot of boards. I, I, I think it's a good number. And um, I hope everybody that plays uh, that that made it in the lottery has a good time. And uh, I'll try not to call you too many names if you uh, mess up the opening or something like that. And and if I mess up the opening, then um, I'll, uh, I'll 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 curse myself out. But of course, as the ad advertisement said, um, I may speak about your moves, but I will not give you the winning move. So we'll see what happens with this. So. Um, Usually in these simuls, I try to get off to a, uh, a, a pretty fast start. I think in a clock simul, the biggest nightmare that could happen is if all of a sudden at the end of the simul, you have uh, two games. In an over-the-board clock simul, the worst thing that could happen is if you have uh, one on one side and one on the other. So that, that's, that won't happen today as the boards are supposed to pop up. And I'm sitting at home. It's a nice day outside in New York. And uh, I hope you guys can see my beautiful face okay. Um, I'm not, sh I don't think that uh, I'll be able to take tells during the games. So, um, but maybe, maybe afterwards, but I'll, t you know, I'll, I'll talk to everybody as the games are going on and uh, hopefully everybody will have a good time and, uh, and we'll see if we could uh, play some good chess and, and, uh, and learn a lot. Um, over the years, I've been pretty good with the white pieces, but I, I, I have no idea what how, how I'm going to do it today, whether I'm going to play D4 a lot or mix it up. Uh, it depends. Um, the worst thing that could happen in a simul is I, if I run into some kind of tricky opening that I don't know. But actually, I've done a lot of tricky openings, so we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, looks, like, looks like we're starting. So good luck to everybody, and good luck to me, and have a good time. Okay, Zebby is now. I, I keep looking at this pawn on d4 in this game with Zebby, and I'm wondering will, will he ever take it? I think I'm going to cancel, and uh, and and we'll we'll see who's buffing. All right, uh, number crunch attack my queen. I think I probably just go queen to g. Queen to F2 there, solid. He could be a little better, actually, in this kind of game. All right, now, what's happening here with um, with Dr. Sigmund? I could win a pawn, but then a light squared bishop. Hmm. That's a tough one. I don't know. I'm thinking about queen C2. Then I'm looking at D5. Okay, I think queen C2 is okay there for me. I'm going to have to start speeding up here a little bit. Um, now, queen D8 from Volcano Explorer. I'm wondering... If I should just go queen to, let me just go queen to d2 and tap that a pawn, see what he does. Okay, uh, Haynes is sacking the exchange. Well, he had to, but now if I take it, I should, well, I think I have to take it. Although I chased his rook to a worse spot. So maybe, maybe that's something to think about. If I go bishop e8, he goes queen e8. I wonder if my bishop is getting trapped at all. Hmm. All right. I think I think I'm just gonna go bishop h4 there and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Bishop e5 coming from Marcos. I think I should just retreat my bishop to somewhere. How about uh d2? Uh oh. Queen to g3 looks like a good looks like a good move from Eric Moore attacking my pawns. Um I'll take on G6, and we'll have to see how it goes. 
Knight to D3 coming from now. I'm up a piece against Joho, but should I just go Rook takes D3 and have two pieces and make it safer, or or is that is that too much? I think I think I'll I think I'll give something back there. Queen E7 from Exianiola. Now he's threatening um, some Knight to B3 stuff, which I have to stop. Can I stop it simply with Bishop to C2? All right, I'll try Bishop C2 stopping it. I'm not lost anywhere yet. <laughs> and uh, some, you know, good games going. Every, everything's going. I think I might be uh, close to winning a few of them, but we'll see. Now, what's happening here on the board with Eric Moore? I take on H7. Queen F5. I don't know. My E pawn's hang sometimes. I think I should probably just take on H7. Okay, queen takes d3 against Joho. I'm going to have a couple pieces for a rook. Uh, Lion King just played c5. Um, I think it's a decent position. Now, um, I guess h3, I'll send his knight back. I don't think his knight is any better place to where it was on, uh, you know, not chasing it to any great shakes over there. Um, Marcos, let's see. He moved his bishop back to f6. Seems like he's moving his bishop a lot. I'm going to go rook to b1 here and see if I can get some stuff going. Um, e5 from Varun. Mm, I think I have to take it. I can't. If I allow e4, he's going to get a big attack, so I, not much to think about. Must take it. Rook e8, Robbie Williams moved out of the way. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to see... If I can ever get b5 in, that would be the whole point of my minority attack, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm doing that, so I'll try rook c5 and see if that does anything. Okay, knight e5 happened from King David. What's the deal here? If I go bishop takes e4, what's the story? Or should I chicken out and play knight d4, but then bishop? what is bishop g4 about, again, with knight f3 happening? So what's the lesser of the evils here? Any, any, uh, anything really terrible if I take? I think I have to take on e4. Taking my chances there. That's a, that's a messy one for sure. That's very messy. All right, uh, Eric Moore, I'm getting into some time pressure here. But I guess with 30-second increment, I should be getting, you know, some time back. Aha, uh -huh, knight to be bishop to d8. From Marcos, tricky move, tricky, tricky business. Can I just go B4 here and try and get my open up my rook? Uh, number crunch. F5 looks like a good move. Um, let's. He's trying for an attack with F4 sorts of stuff. Should I go D4? Does D4 do anything? Um, or should I play defensive here? I, I'm I'm a little bit on the defensive in this game again. Also. Uh, all right, let me try d4 and see how that goes. Joho, two pieces for a rook. Um, bishop takes e5, looks like a safe move. Uh, knight takes e5, can I do it, or are pins bothering me? Let me go knight takes e5, and we'll see what happens there. Bishop g4 from King David. Mm-hmm. Now, I just want to go, I think I can. should just go queen to c2. I'm a little worried about that bishop on f3. Let's see. Um, Lion King, uh, what's happening here? Um, I guess I like my development. I think I'll just go rook d1 and try and keep him bottled up. And Eminence. Eminence just played a6, which looks like a, looks like a good move. Um, now... What can I do here? I'm, 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 normal ideas look like knight a4 into c5, something like that. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about bishop g5s and stuff like that. Then he goes bishop e7. Um, knight a4. Knight a4 can be met by knight e4. So I, I don't know about knight a4 there. Um, let me play. Let me play a3 myself. Maybe I can get some b4 thing going there. Okay, uh, Sisindale, this is a tough one. What to do? Knight a4? All right, knight a4, I'll see if I can bother him over there. Bishop to f3 from uh, from King David. Mm -hmm. That could be a good move. Now we have to see. If I, go, if I go bishop f5, he takes. 
I might have to go. I, I I might have to play bishop f5 here. All right, let me let me do bishop f5, and who knows what's going on there. Uh, queen e6 from Robbie Williams, and let's see. Can I go b5 here? Ah, maybe he's threatening knight f4. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of the way with bishop f1. All right, is Merkin is is Merkin gonna sacrifice on me? All right, I'm going to get my rook there, so I might be able to get my bishop to f1. Okay, now, Varun is, uh, I don't know, uh, um, let, let me uh, go back queen d3. I might have to put my queen somewhere else. A lot of, uh, a lot of tough games here. I have no wins yet. Bishop f5, bishop takes d5 from king David, and now knight to d4. I'm hoping that puts my, keeps my position together. Uh, full step, full step, knight g4, I have to take it, no choice in that matter, rook a8 from, um, from Volcano Explorer, uh, now I'm thinking about queen f4, let's do it, see if I can order the d6 square, knight c5 from Joe Sixpack, um, now is, is he gonna, is he gonna win a pawn here because he's taking on, um, that's a good question. What is going on here? I have a funny move, knight a4, but I'm not sure that I like it. If I if I retreat with my queen here, and he plays, well, takes on b4, I can't take it back. So that's that's a, a bit of a situation. So this game, I, I really didn't pay attention to my rook on a1 at all. So I have to see what what's a, what's a good move here to do. Um, knight to a4 I'm looking at, but, all right, uh, he takes on b3, I take there, uh, that's very confusing, all right, I'm gonna try it, I, I'm not sure about this at all, this could, this, this might just lose, we'll see, okay, so takes on d5 from Dr. Sigmund, Eighty-five from uh, from Marcos. Okay, now Marcos is threatening to rip my king side apart, but I'm wondering if I could just ignore him. Um, I feel if if I go bishop to e2, will he go? Yeah, I have to go bishop to e2. Okay, so now am I? I'm trying to win a pawn against Mr. Jerko, but he gets bishop c6. Very strong bishops. Uh, but I can trade queens on h4. Okay, I'm going to try it. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of a, a lot of games. I mean, not. <laughs> I'm wondering about my time in some of these games. That's that's the that's. I'm sort of getting more worried about my uh, uh, time than than anything else here. Mm hmm. Okay, queen. Now, what's happening in this game? I need a nice spot for my queen against Joho. Um, should I just go back to b1 and defend all my stuff? Yeah, why not? Let's see. The bishops are doing a good job of patching things up. All right. Now, this game, it's driving me crazy. The Zebo game, I'd almost wish he'd take on d4. The suspense is killing me. All right, rook takes g4 from full step. Now, uh... Getting a little bit tied up, although I'm very happy that his bishop hasn't gotten into the game yet. If that bishop ever gets in, I could have problems. F5 from Volcano Explorer. Wow. Didn't think of that one. All right, I'm looking at queen takes d6, but he could take on e4. Should I take on, and if I take on f5, and I'm looking at e5, I'm looking at a lot of moves, and I don't have a lot of time. I think I'll take on f5 there and see what happens. Okay, bishop takes uh, f d5 from Dr. Sigmund. Knight takes f5, looks good. Okay, now, I'm wondering if I can ever break through on uh, on Xena. I might have to sack an exchange in that game on a6 or something like that to break through. Okay, f6 from Kant. Kant's doing good. Um, I'm looking at d5. I think I'll play d5. I'm trying to keep the tension out of that position. It's not so easy. Okay, so 
finally, oh, all right, I'm very happy in the Zebo game. The pressure is off of D4, and now I think I'm happy. You never know, but I think I'm happy. Okay, but how do I build up? Let me let me just go rookie one. Maybe I can use the open files later. Aha, knight f4 was played anyway by Robbie Williams. Um, I think that, all right, I think I'm, I'll trade queens there and take my chances with the bishop pair. Okay, knight g5, interesting move coming from Keynes. Now, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I have to figure out a way to reduce his attack. I guess I should take on, if I take on e8, he takes with the queen. I don't know. I'm looking at b4, and then he would take, uh, I, I'm, I mean, knight to e2 is sort of interesting. All right, um, I think I'm going to try knight to e2. Okay, Joho, queen f6. Um, can I just retreat my bishop? Or, or does rook d2 do something? Uh, I don't know. I, th I, I, think I, I think my pieces look like they're doing a pretty good job of covering up for me. F5 from Shaftcat. Wow. Uh, I, I, I wasn't expecting that. But it locks it up. Do I have to take on Passant? You know, I think I, I think that I have to try to open it. I can't really, you know, leave that there. Knight a4, queen b8. All right, now, in the Cinderlake game, I'm going to try to uh, get b4 in, I guess. Looks like the typical Benoni kind of thing to do. All right, what's happening? Well, I don't know what to do against Shaftcat. Tough games. All right, um, F5. Hmm. I don't know who's king. I don't know who's king's more open. That might be mine. Okay, uh, Marcos. I guess I'll take take that. Open up his rook. Uh, rook to D5 played from Robbie Williams. So I think I'll just go rook to D B1 and continue that minority attack business. All right, I won the exchange against in in um in in the last position now. Uh knight to d3 from Hain. That I was a little worried about that move actually, but I, I wonder if I can go f4 here. Or f3. I don't know. F4, knight takes. All right, I'm gonna give I'm gonna try f4, see what happens. Okay, now am I trading queens nicely against Mr. Yurkel? Uh, knight to d7. Now, g5 is, is becoming something that I have to look at against eminence for sure. g5, and then my bishop goes somewhere. So I think maybe I'll go g4 just to give my bishop a drop back square. All right, now, x in the Ola castled. And let me, do, let me see. Can I do bishop to d3 here? Some tricks there. A very tricky position. Bishop c4 from, from Zebal. Maybe I should have consider that but all right rook d2 just take it easy you know looks looks okay uh f4 from from varun varun's trying to drum up some attack on me and he might be able to also i'll just go f3 in that varun game maybe i should have taken a draw rate repetition i don't know okay knight c7 was played by robbie williams um, I'm, I'm always looking at the move e4 all right let me do it i'm looking at it i might as well do it all right Rook to d2, played by Joho. Is, I mean, um, f2 is protected. I think I should try and trade some rooks off. Let me go rook f d. Let me go rook to d1 and get that rook out of my face. Uh, Marcos, mm, how am I doing here? Looks good. Did somebody just offer me a draw? I'm going queen takes. I'm happy. I, I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm I mean I'm out of my mind, but I'm having a good time. I haven't lost any games yet. And now, full step is trying to get that bishop to c6. I was a little worried about that. At, how can I stop that? I would I, I mean if his if his bishop ever gets al becomes alive, I got problems. All right, I think I should go queen d2. I got to control the d4 square. All right, let's see what's happening here. I would take, let me take back with the rook on e4 against Robbie Williams, try and bother his, his uh, pawn. Uh, 
Cinderella, he just played, took on e4, I'll take back with the bishop. Eh, looks, it looks okay. Up a pawn of Mr. Jerkle. Now, hold it, King David. What is happening on the move c7? c7. Uh, now, in this game, I just have to make sure he doesn't get a nice batter on me, and I just get mated on g2 or h1. But c7 looks good to me. Uh, I think I'll do it. And let's see what's happening. The good thing about winning the exchange against Zine is that I can sack the exchange back. <laughs> so I think I will take that exchange. All right. This 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 game with Shaft Cat's messed up. I don't know what's what's going on. I think my king is safe, but uh, he can. I don't know if he has any diagonal stuff going. On. All right, I'm going to take on c5, and we'll see what see what goes on. Um, all right, uh, Zena. I, I just took the exchange. Now I'm going to sack the exchange back with rook takes b7, and I think I'm very happy there. Okay, now how happy am I in this game with King David? Uh, I think I'm pretty happy, actually. I'm, that C pawn is nice. I think I'm going to, should I overprotect it or should I get greedy with rook to B1? That's a good question. Get greedy with rook to B1 or overprotect it. I'm going to play it safe and, and, and overprotect it. Okay, now, the game with Marcos. I got a lot, how did my pawns get down there? This looks great. This looks, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm winning here. I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at takes on d6, and also I'm just looking, can I just play c6? All right, I'm going to play c6 because to me that looks like the safest. And when you're in time pressure, I guess you got to do it. Okay, knight h7 was played. Now, one of these days in this game against Haynes, I'm going to take this rook. I, I don't know. This knight on d3 is bothering me. I don't think his rook can move yet. I think... I think I'll do precautionary and just go king to h1. All right, now we got Robbie Williams is uh, is uh, getting a knight to d4. Bishop opposite colors. Hmm. I don't know. I I I I think I'll just go bishop back to to d2 and uh, and see what the situation is there. Okay, bishop e7 from eminence. I think. Should I go bishop to f3 to patch my king up a little bit? I don't know if that patches it up. Well, yeah, I think it does, because then I can bring my knight back to e2 and, and put some pieces near my king, which uh, which which always helps. b5 from Mr. Yerkel. Now, uh, what's happening here? Should I go bishop e7 and trade down? Let's do it. And bishop c6. All right, hold on. Bishop h4 just happened into Lion King. Now, um, he, he ha he'll he get the reply, queen b7, and then I take, all right, um, I don't know. I'm going to do bishop h4, and I'll worry about it afterwards. Bishop f5 from Sincele, and I think I should just, I don't know, if I just develop, is he, is he threatening to take something here? Bishop h6, I don't know. Bishop g5. All right, let me go bishop g5 and see what happens here. He's really heating up here all over the place. Knight b8 from Exionola. I think it's a good move. Just, just he, He's just protecting his stuff. All right, I'm going to go queen b1 and get my queen out of the way there. All right, hold on. Shaft cat, queen to c6. I was afraid of something like that. But can I go knight to d4? Hmm. Yeah, all right. Sharp position. What can you do? All right, rookie eight from uh, from Zeboil. I sort of like this position, but I feel like I should do something at some point. I think I'm just going to go bishop to g3, maybe or from a trade at some point. Knight g5 from Robbie Williams. A little bit surprised about that. Uh, now, should I just go rook to e3? Yeah, it looks, looks normal. Maybe I could double on the pawn. Maybe there's some pen. Okay, now, Lion King. What's going on with bishop? Ta if I go bishop takes e6 and he has bishop takes, well, all right, I'm going to do it. Bishop takes e6. Let's see what happens. 
All right, Queen E5 from King David. Um, what's now? Is is? Can I just cement? I wonder. I'm trying to see. Should I cement with E4? Or should I cement with D4? If I cement with E4, yeah, I think cementing with E4. Although Queen D4 check just showed up, and that looks a little weird. So, all right, let's cement with G4. And then I would really like to trade queens in that game if I could, but we'll see if I can. All right, Robbie Williams, A5, huh? Mm hmm. Now let's see what let's see what can I do here. I wonder if I should just go bishop back to A1, or I could take if I do if I take on A5, and then go bishop to C3. He takes on A4. Okay, I'm going to give that a shot. I'm going to try and open up the position in some of these games, just because of time pressure and all kinds of what what not happening here. Um. All right. What's now? I'm on X in the Oilers game. Uh, ninety two. Yeah. Okay. We'll try and get closer to his kin. Uh. Oh boy. Uh. Let's see. Queen G four. All the queen. Queen H four in the volcanic explorer game. Um. I would be very happy to trade queens here. I'm going to offer him a trade of queens on G three, and uh, and and see what he says about that. Bishop takes f3 from Lion King. All right, here we go. I think I went into this thinking that I was going to go rook to d7. Is that is that true? Also, well, I could go bishop takes and trade down also. So that's pretty cool too. All right, I think I'm just going to go rook to d7. Uh, h5 from Zebile. Uh, let's see. Should I go bishop to e5? Let me go bishop e5 or from a trade of those bishops. D4. The moves are coming. This, this, it, it's, it's getting tough here. Um, D4 from Varun. Uh, do I have to take that? If I take it, where's my king go? I think I'm going to take it, and then I'll worry afterwards where my king goes. Rook to d1. Rook d8 happens in this game with against Yoho. Can I just move my queen? to c7. I want to make sure I don't hang anything. I like my two pieces a lot. I think my king is safe. So let me just go queen to c2. Okay, queen f8 from Dr. Sigmund. All right, what's now, what's happening here? I, I like the fact that my king is pretty safe here. I think I'll just go bishop e3 and develop some stuff. And and now Snurk, Snurk, Snurk's playing tough. Uh, A6, mm-hmm. Now, let me see. I got to see if I could break through in these games. Sometimes it's going to be with D5. Sometimes it'll be something else. All right, oh, Kant, I haven't been... Oh, Kant, we've both been thinking a lot in this game, so that's good. All right, let me see... Um, let me see, what can I do in this game against uh, Kant? Can I just, I'm wondering, can I double rooks? Am I afraid of knight of four? I was thinking, okay, let me see if I could take on c6 and then double rooks maybe. Okay, hold on. Uh, Zebile, Zebile played a move here. This is a tricky move. I, am I losing an exchange? No, it's a little uncomfortable, but I think I'm in, I think I'm hanging in there. All right, um, Exaniola, mm-hmm. Playing tough. Okay, good. Queen takes d4 from Varun. I think I should move my king to h2. I think so. Although he has his queen f2 bothering me. That's a good. All right, I'm going to go to h2. d5 from uh, Dr. Sigmund. Mm -hmm. Now, is he getting his pawns moving? I didn't think of that. All right, let me see what to do here. All right, I'm going to go queen e6 check. A lot of action going on here, and it's uh, time pressure. Is, uh, my time is getting a little bit weird in these games, but uh, I'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. I'm now on the eminence game, and oh, we just switched to another board, I guess because I have less time. Uh, we switched to Sinsule. I just went, but now he, he's thinking here. So uh, let's see. Control. All right, he moved. All right, good. Now, let's see. I can take something. 
I could, let's see, if I take on d6, he takes back, queen takes. No, I, I, I think I should go rook takes e4. Oh boy, I don't know. I don't know what to do here against this game. No, I think I think sometimes the wrong board pops up, but I think I'm okay. Kept que uh, volcanic explorer kept the queens on. Mm -hmm. That's the right move. Now, does he have any threats? Can I go d6 and maybe have that pawn bother him? Let's try d6. See if I can bother him a little bit. Shaft cat. Mm -hmm. Persistent guy still going for the discovered check. But let me ask him something. If I go C6, what's the story? All right, I got to go C6 and worry about it afterwards. Um, now, what is going on with these, this game here? I think I'm going to put my queen on C6 against Dr. Sigmund and try and slow down his pawns a little bit. All right. Queen F6. It looks like full step is still trying to get his, his bishop to C6, but... I'm looking to see, can I take on d4? Well, I don't know. He's threatened. He's got some threats. I'm, I'm not so sure about going knight e2. Uh, knight h5. What about that? All right, let me go knight h5, and the good thing is I can go back if I'm not sure what to do. All right, and now we have uh, Yo Joho. Is Joho. The thing in the, this game with Joho is, can he trade the queens? Uh, that could be that could bother me, I guess, if if he trades the queens. So maybe I, maybe I want to keep the queens on in this game. Can I do that? Let me try to go queen e4 and keep the queens on. All right, Lion King. This this one, what's happening? I feel I feel nice about. I feel good about this one. Um, let's see. I'm taking on. D7. Mm. Uh, bishop takes D7. If I go rook takes D7, no, then he goes E6. Okay, I have to take on on F7. All right. Um, Robbie Williams, I just took B7. He took A4. I don't know what's going on in the game. It doesn't look too bad. All right, now, against, in, in the game with Sassindale, I was thinking of just going king h1. But he can go rook f7 then, or should I go queen e2? Mm. I think I'll go queen e2 and try and keep the pin going and see what happens there. All right, now, it looks like we got, in the Mr. Jerkle game, I think I'm happy for exchanges. I think I want to make exchanges. All right, now, let's see. This is a... This is a little mess going on here with uh, with with the um, Lion King. Rook to d6. Haynes, Keynes, Keynes uh, went knight f6. Finally, uh, do, can I finally take the exchange? Yeah, okay. I'll finally take the exchange. Uh, Robbie Williams, h6. Now, I want to see here. Um... The C6, should I go after the C7 point? I, you know, I just feel like my back rank, I'm a little worried about the back rank, so I think that's why I'm going to go rook back. Okay, now we have a move from Varun. Varun's got, getting aggressive here. I'm going to go queen b3 check against Varun. Uh, this game, man, that, that, this game, oh, it, it looks like Joe Sixpack was thinking a lot, so I, I, maybe that's that, maybe that helps me. Okay, now, what's happening with in, in this game? with Zebi. Can I bail out here? All right, I'm going to bail out with Bishop takes. I think I can do this. Bishop takes C7. All right. Oh, thank you, Mr. Yerkel. I don't know if he should have traded all the stuff. I mean, should he have traded down so much? I, I, I'm not, no, I'm not sure about that. You know, I mean, that's, that, that, that really, I, I'm not so sure about. Okay. It looks like we have Volcano Explorer is trying to make threats on me. Is he trying to make threats with uh, with Rook? Let's let's see what to do here. I'm thinking of it, that I should ignore them and just go D7. And then does he have sacrifices somewhere? Well, I guess we're gonna find out because I'm gonna go D7. All right, um, Shaflak. Interesting game this one. 
I, I, I'm, I'm very happy. I got these pawns. They look good. I, I, I mean, should I just? I'm thinking of taking on e6 with something. Or should I go queen f3 and and just be a little bit safe? Okay, queen f3 and I'll be a little safe. All right, now in the game against full step, I'm not sure. Do I want to take on g4 and then go back to g3? Maybe I have a pass pawn. I th I'll give. I'll try that. Maybe my pan. Maybe that pass pawn could help a little bit. All right, uh, Mr. Yerkel, I think that. I should start coming up with my king ending kind of position. Um, Robbie Williams just attacked my bishop. Uh, all right, I'll go bishop to b2. Let's see. Mm. Snark is Snark's going active here with the with with the. F5 now, but I, I don't know. Should I just go? All right, let me just. But his pawn is that is his pawn going all the way to F3? Is an excellent question. Yeah, I don't know. And then I retreat. All right, I'm gonna go E5 and see what happens there. What can I do? All right, uh, Queen C7 now. Exeniola is is probably trying to trade queens, which makes a lot of makes sense in this sort of position. Can I keep the queens on? I'm going to try to keep the queens on. I'm just going to, I might wind up sacking something. Okay, bishop takes uh, the, uh, b3 from Kant. And I guess, hmm, well, this is pretty interesting here. I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I like bishop to h3. All right, now, what's happening with, um, with Haynes? Should I? That, that that knight is really bothering me. I mean, can I go knight c1 and get rid of it finally? It's just really annoying piece. All right, I'm going to try it anyway. Okay, uh, back. In some games, I'm in, getting into some time pressure, so we'll, we'll see what the, what the story is. Um, I would like to trade... No, would I like to trade queens in this game? All right, I'm going to go queen b3 check against king David and c. I think if I traded queens, I'd be very happy. Okay, Shavkat, this is another another, another real-time pressure game. All right, knight e6 looks like the right thing to do. Um, now, queen b7 in, in, the, um, in the Lion King game. Should I just go bishop to d5 and take it easy? And, and avoid aggravation, or should I just take stuff? But then my king could be open. I feel like chickening out with bishop to d5 is probably the best thing to do here. Some good positional games going. Oh, knight to b3 in the game with Exeniola. Man, that really makes my rook looks kind of silly. I didn't see that. So now let me see if I could do something about that bishop takes well i don't know i'm going to try and sack the exchange we'll see what happens all right um number crunch just played f4 which i think is a good move i think i must take that on f4 and try and defend oh tough tough okay um, dr sigmund i'm getting into time pressure but thank god for 30 second increment here This one with the, I don't know if I could hang on. I mean, am I able to try to hang on here? Okay, uh, I have to take it with the rook. It doesn't matter. If I take with the king, it's the same thing. So I have to take with the rook. Okay, now queen e7 in, uh, in, in this is, now the, the King David game is a very straight, is, is really getting exciting. I think I'm going to go, I could make a queen, but I don't think it's good. So I think, I want to play either queen d4 or queen d3. All right, let me go queen d3 and hit the bishop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
All right, now, Cinderella, I, 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 Cinderella, I have to be careful. He's got tricks all over the place. I think I should just go King H1. Okay, now I thought I had I, 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 I thought I had a good move in uh, in um, the game with full step. I thought I was gonna play rook f1, but he has bishop e4. So I don't know. I might have lost a pawn, but I don't know. Is it the end of the world? Uh, who knows? Queen f2. He just goes bishop to e uh, g6. All right. Now what's happening in the game with Robbie Williams? Robbie Williams just went bishop g5. It's all my stuff protected is what I'm wondering about. All right, back. Okay, now we have some kind of action going on in the game with Snark. Now, Snark went king. That's a brave move. Um, do I have any shots? I'm looking at e6. e6 check. And then bishop g5 check and stuff like that. Knight g4. Okay, now what's happening here? Knight takes g4. All right. I, you know, I feel like in some of the games I'm, 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 I'm doing decently. You know, what I mean, it's but uh, I'm, I'm the time pressure is about to get unbelievable. That's what's that might be bothering me the most, to tell you the truth. Okay. So now, in the game with King David, what's what, what's what is happening here? No, not making uh, making a queen doesn't do anything. I could, I I don't know about going queen b three check and taking a pawn. I'm going to go queen c four check and see if I can get my queen closer. Okay, so full step is and full step is up a pawn, and uh, it's probably a good pawn. I guess I should trade, although maybe I could try for some blockades or something. All right, some good action going on here. Uh, let's see. The, the, the game with um, XC and Ola, I'm trying to make, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sacking stuff. Okay. Robbie Williams, rook to D8. All right. Now you to e3 from uh, Haynes. Haynes uh, played, a, played a good move there. Now my queen looks a little bit weird, and he's getting the exchange back. Then he'll have a pawn on d3. All right, I guess I could go queen c1. Now, I, 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 I mean, I don't know if I have any chances to blockade in this game with full step. That's, that's a good question, you know, because he can get his queen side going. All right, boy. It seems like in some of the games, it's turned out not so bad for me. All right, uh, queen b6 in the game with Zebul. I'm going to see. I was threatening to do something really messy here, but I, I don't know if it works. So I was threatening to go e6, queen takes, and bishop takes b5. But I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's a little creepy. Maybe I should just go d5. All right. Well, that was a fast decision. Okay, uh, bishop takes e5. Time pressure on a lot of boards, but 30-second increment, thank God. Yep, Volcano Explorer. This, this, one, this one could be tough. This one could be tough. Although I have some pieces, but... You know, a queen is just a, a queen is strong. I, I mean, let's face it, a queen is just too strong. So I think that's my problem in this position. That was very, very good tactics on his part. Okay, uh, Dr. Sigmund's getting his pawns going. Now, What's happening with with Mr. Jerko? I feel I feel like I'm just winning here. I mean, all right, let me try G4. 
All right. Now, I really in in in, in the game with Exeniola, I'm I'm trying to mate him, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I don't have a lot of stuff near his king, and he's up the exchange. Well, I don't know. I'm going to go ninety one and try and keep him off my face for a little bit. H5 from, from full step. All right, now, if I get my knight to F4, is that any good? All right, I'm going to try to put my knight on F4, at least patch things up a little bit. Well, okay. Queen D6 from um, from King David. Now, I, I, I feel like E4 looks like a good move, but it's a little loose. So should I do it? I mean, at least his bishop is, is closed in now. That's one thing that makes me happy. Uh... Is pawn takes g4 going to be some sort of move? All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go e4 against uh, against King David. Um, I like. I think I like my game with Lion King. I, I think I'm up a pawn and uh, and I have kind of nice control of things. So we'll see how that works out for me. Uh, pawn to b4 from Kant. Mm, this this one is this one is getting weird. Do I just move my knight somewhere? Let me just move my knight to d1. Well, but then he moves his... Okay, I'm going to just move my knight back to d1 and see what the heck happens. What can I do? All right, in here, I think I'm losing one of the games. Uh-oh, Kant just took rook takes e3, and I think I'm just... I, I think I might just be done in this one. I did not see that. The time pressure is just... Uh, is, is, it's getting to be very messy now. All right, what's uh, let's let's see what's happening. Um, looks like Eminence Eminence is playing tough here. I'm trying to keep that together. Doctor Sigmund has passed pawns coming down towards me. Um, but I got to try to hold him up. I'll go rook to e1 and see if I can blockade him. Queen h5 from 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 um. Canes. This one is this one's getting tricky. What's happening here? Should I just go bishop to g3? Is he gonna no queen e2? All right, I think bishop g3 looks solid enough. Now, what's what's the deal here with Mr. Yerkel? Can I can I go bishop to e4 check? Yep, I think so. Uh, queen to d6 in this one. All right, this one. I like my game with Shaft Cat. I like it a lot. I think I think that I because he, he, he no castling for him, and uh and I I think he's all pinned. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I I think full I think my game with full step is just about over here. Um, hanging e3 was not a smart move on my part. Um, I'm thinking of tossing in the towel here. I'm gonna give it a little look, and uh, and I think I will resign. Good game, full step. Very tricky. Tricky stuff there. So I'm down one and, and, and already. <laughs> okay, knight e1, knight c6 from uh, from xc and ola. Now I'm trying to mate him, but I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. Let's go. Let me play. I, I was thinking about rook to c1 to slow him down a little bit. Does he have knight takes e5? All right, I'm going to try rook to c1. All right. My friend Joe Sixpack, moving fast, all right? Mm -hmm. Took on g4 in this one. All right, what's happening here? I'm thinking of going e5 against King David. Uh, all right, let me do e5. Another mess. Okay, now let's see. Queen d7 from, from X and O looks like a good move. I think I have to keep pieces on, so I'm going to go rook d1 and turn down trades. All right, now, he takes d4. Can I make... I, I feel like I should be trying to make queens against Robbie Williams. Uh, king to g8 uh, from Varun. Now, I could check him and take draws, but I, I don't know. The only question here is, is g4... Is G4 going to be strong for him? That's that's the question. 
Uh, let me see. I have knight f3 is some kind of move. Uh, knight, uh, well, knight f6 just popped into mind. Interesting. Rook takes. Rook takes. Uh, all right, I'm going to try that. Knight f6. I think I'm positionally better on some of the games. Uh, okay, let's see what the deal is here against Zeboil. Man, I, I, it's okay. I'm going to put that pawn on d6 and see what happens. All right, let's see what's going on here. King g8 against Lion King. Um, I have nice board control here. I guess I'll just double rooks. Looks looks nice. All right, now, Robbie Williams is, I have to be a little careful. Really would like to get that pawn down there. Oh, no. Oh, tough move from uh, from Eminence, huh? Let's see, Bishop B5. All right, so uh, I think I'll take it and take my chances. All right, um, X and E O is going very fast here. Uh, hmm. Okay, what's happening here with Zebul? I guess I'll just protect my rook. Uh, Rookie three from number crunch. Number crunch is in time pressure. This game is this game is getting messy for both sides. Okay. Uh, now what's what what's going on with with I don't know what's happening with Sindele, but uh, I I think I'm positionally better. But tactically, it's a little bit weird. Mm hmm. Okay, now what happened here with f5 in, in this game with um with Kant? I see. So I gotta take on f5. And I'm wondering I, I'm I'm trying to be solid in this game with um all right now let me see if I I, I have to be really careful in this pawn ending. No, I think g5 just wins against Mr. Jack Mr. Yurkle. All right, Bishop, let's, let's see what's happening here. Try and get some attack going here. All right. E4 from Shafkat. Shafkat is all pinned up. But but the question I'm wondering about is, is does he ever have these knight g4 moves? You know, does, does he ever have... Not, well, I'm going to go queen h3, I think, and stop the kind of stuff and just see what the deal is there. Ah, uh, Bishop C, Bishop C eight from King David. Can I go E six? Wow. All right. All right. Joe Joe six pack playing solidly. Um, what's the deal? My knight on B six seems to be doing some. It's doing nice work. It's just keeping him off open files. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the game with Dr. S I'm not really sure what's going on in this game with Dr. Sigmund. He's getting his people rolling here. All right, I'm going to try to hold him up. I'm not optimistic about it. All right, King H8 from Exoniola. Hmm. Um, in the game with that uh, number crunch, I'm trying to patch it up a little bit. It's it's tough with this pass pawn. Uh, I don't know. Let me see if I could go rookie one and maybe blockade. All right, Lion King is trying to get some pass pawns going, but I think I'm happy there. All right, now, uh, am I finally going to win a game here? I mean, is Mr. Yurkle or what's happening? All right, it, now, King David's after King David's after my pawn. King David's been moving fast. I mean, I was like really not paying attention to this one. All right, uh, Rook C6. Uh, Mm 
business. Uh-oh. Hold on, Mr. Yurgle, did he... No, he didn't trick me. My king can catch it. <laughs> that was a close one. All right, what's happening with number crunch? Can I do a... Can I, can I gum, the, gum up this position and at least be okay? Well... All right, night, night. Merck and I have a strong, really nice night on, uh, on, on um, D4. I should be better there. Let me just go A3 and protect some stuff. B5 from King David. This this game, oy. let me let me see if I can. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to attack him. Okay, Number Crunch is trying to get in there with his uh, with his queen. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna try to keep him out, of course. Joe six pack. This game's this game's we, we're getting we're getting in a little bit of time pressure. Bishop e7 from Robbie Williams. Uh, let's go rook f1, see what happens. I'm doing, I'll do anything to break the tension in some of these positions. Okay, Yurkel's played a, um, uh, uh, Ixignia Ola's played a tough move here. He's going, all right, I, I'm, you know, I'm trying to drum up some attack here. Not so easy. Okay, now what's happening with this one? I'm looking at Kant. Uh, I'm a little concerned about this B pawn. Can I do something here if I go, but if I take that, the B pawn, is he going in with the B pawn? Do I have a way to distract him? I don't know. Well, maybe he's not, yeah, he's trying to go B3. All right, I'm going to go rook take C6, see what happens. Uh, messy move just happened from Shaft Cat. Messy, but I think I got it under control. I think I'm going to go queen back to f3. All right. Um, Sindele, we're trading lots of rooks. Mm -hmm. C file for Zebile. Well, the moves are coming in, and we're fighting here. Okay. Now, I, I, I don't know what's going on in this Volcano Explorer game. I, I, I just have to move back and forth and see if I can draw. And I'm kind of wondering about this past pawn in this game with... All right, H4, G, G5 was played by number crunch. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess I'll take that. Still trying to play tough there. Did I win a pawn? I took a pawn against Merkin. All right. Kant getting into some some terrible time pressure all over the place trying to uh to take it easy. Uh let's see. Keynes he wants to activate his bishop. I guess I don't know, should I go I, I guess I'll go knight f3 and try and patch things up there. All right. Volcano Explorer is probably just winning but he's got to open it up somehow. Oh, uh, boy, all right. Bishop e4, some games, Robbie Williams. I'm up the exchange. Now, what's happening here? I was going to go rook to the bottom. Actually, I think I want to trade rooks there, so I think I'll go rook to b1. 
Okay, Haynes, all right, now, let's see, we're getting to the real truth of this game against XC and Ola, whether my attack's going to work or not. <laughs> Some serious business going on here. I don't know if I'm how to break through on Exeniola. All right, I'm gonna try. Hmm. King David's game's a mess. I don't have any time, but I think I have an attack. Moves coming in all over the place here. All right, what's happening to Merkin? I'm just going to push my past pawn. Uh, Keynes is... Uh... All right, what's happening in the game with uh, Varun? All right, Varun is Varun's out trying to mate me, but I, I don't know. Can I, I was thinking I should mate him first. All right, I'm going to give a check and see. Check. What's going on here with this game? All right. Time pressure all over the place. Aha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I'm on number crunch. I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to hang on here. Um, I don't know. Queen of four. Nah, that, that, that can't be right. All right, let me give a check and see what happens. Check. Check. Uh, let's see. H6. Now, what is happening? I, 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 I think that... All right, Merkins, I'm up a pawn, but not so easy. All right, I'll just push it. Not a lot of time here. Okay, now what's happening here in this game with um? All right, time warning here. What's happening with the Varun? Check. Okay, now, uh, Joe's six pack. I think I'm winning pretty easily here. Uh, Oh, I got to cleared up the past pawn situation in some of these games, which is, which is a very happy moment. Check. 
All right, what's happening? We got some some of these games are just all right. Oh, rookie three. All right, am I winning a piece against the Lion King? We're gonna find out. Okay, what's Varuna? Varuna's trying to mate me. All right, what's happening? Uh, Rook F1, what is it? Rook F1. I don't know, he can do F2 maybe, check. All right, I don't know, I'm gonna give him some checks and see what happens. What's happening, Bishop? Two. Right, this is a. Uh... Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm All right. Sure. I think I'm doing okay in some of these games, but the time is a little weird, so we'll see what happens. Check. 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 Hey, I won one. Oh, that was a big comeback in that game. That was a big comeback. Check. All right, now I'm wondering if I'm trying to, I guess I should try to win this game with uh, against Sindelay, Sin but I don't know. My knight on c4 is so strong. I don't know. What to, should I go king? Now, my knight boxes him out, right? Yeah, so maybe I maybe the way to try to do something is to go king. I, I don't know, king f6 or something. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so now... This game is, I don't know, I'm going to, I might have messed up something. I'm messing up, it's, it's uh, time control is a little tough here. All right, uh, check up. All right, but I think I'm doing okay in some of these games. Uh-oh. Against Haynes, I saw that pin. Uh, I, I, if I did some other move, I was probably uh, probably better, but all right. So I blundered that one. Now, let's see. What's happening with, uh, with Lion King? How is, are his pawns very dangerous? Do I need to sack for them yet? Rook to D2. Rook to D2 and then King up. No, I don't think I need to sack for them yet. Okay, so G4. I think I'm trying to make a draw against Varun, against Kunt. Uh, let's see, probably lost here. Yeah, must be, must be lost. Yeah, okay. All right. 
right, let's see what's happening. Trying to win some games. No, I think I'm going to resign against against Canes. Good game, Canes. Tricky. I didn't see the last thing there. Uh, okay, now, yep, this is just lost against Kant. Yep, and I can't take, so another one. All right. All right, so now I'm trying to um, I, I don't know what I'm trying. I'm trying to win a game that's probably drawn against Merkins, but uh, we'll give it a try. All right, um, number crunch. Hmm. My pawn structure, uh, I don't like it, but maybe I can do something. All right, let's see. I know this. Uh oh, I offered a draw in the wrong game. <laughs> the, the board switched too fast. I offered a draw where well, I'm up two pawns and a rook in it. Okay, now what's happening here? Knight takes d6, can't do it. Is it, I don't know, I'll try. All right. Control tab control. All right, so but now uh is is he uh he's trying to win? Let's see, that's interesting. Okay, I don't know if he should, but all right. Yeah. Check. see what's happening here against the Lion King. Um, I guess I should keep some pawns. Huh? If I keep the G pawn, uh, Lion King just helped me to draw, but he's got to be lost here. He's got to be. Yep. I think I'm lost in that game where I was just offered a draw. I mean, it's, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's tough, but uh, all right. So let's see what to do here. It's probably a draw too. Aha. Uh I think eminence, I don't know what's happening. Probably it should be a draw, I would guess. Okay, now what's happening? I, 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 like, I like my game against uh, Lion King. I think it should be a win. The game with Merkin probably should have been a win, but now I think it's just a draw. Uh, Zebel, I thought it was good for him, but now it's gotten pretty nice for me. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Uh, that's the Lion King game. Now I'm going to try and get my king to e6. So Cindelay, I think we both have a lot of time, so that's okay. Now I just have to try and get my king over there. All right, now, what's happening here with this Zebul? I mean, he got his rook kind of messed up. 
So that's that. Do I have winning chances here? Let me see. I'm going to leave his rook there the whole time. All right. I don't know where this. Now I'm down a pawn against him the way. So I, I mean, I, it probably should just be a draw. I would guess. I mean, that's kind of you know. <laughs> come on. All right. Now we're going to see what I can do in some of these games here. I'm not happy about my king and the M in this game. I can't move my bishop anywhere. I think I'm okay there. I'll bring my king over. All right, rook h1. I'm bringing my king in towards trying to mate. mate um, uh, now, the Zebul game, can I... I'm trying to see, can I get... I mean, his rook is just not playing the game. Aha, sack the exchange. Hmm, I don't know if that was the right thing to do. We shall see. All right, so now Eminence is going to have a strong knight on c4. That's uh, that's going to be a problem. Huh? So which, how should I deal with that? Let's see, bishop to b1. Hmm, it's going to have a strong knight on c4, that's for sure. I don't want to take... All right, I'll try queen b4. I don't like this one. Um, I don't know. I think Merkin, I'm going to offer a draw. And uh, let's see. So people are moving in another game, and it's not coming up. All right. Uh, okay, let's see what to do here. This game against the Sindelite, I think I should probably just, probably should just offer a draw, huh? Okay, uh, now, did I just, did I mate line king with king to e6? Is it made on the next move? All right, now we got to see what's happening with Zebul. Eminence is, uh, Eminence is doing a good job there, and mate. Okay, so Lion King, that was a hard game. I don't know what happened to his opening there. I mean, he had he, he had a good game, and then somehow it uh, it, it bit the dust. But Eminence, Eminence is playing very well in this game. Um, I don't know. He's gonna. He, he, I guess he can bother my um, um, my a pawn is gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna try and keep him locked out. But I think that probably I'm busted here. He did a very good job in that game. Yep, Eminence did a good move. He's, uh, he's 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 trying to take on a three. Yep, that's good. I have a lot of time though. I mean, eight minutes and ten seconds in this game. Really? How did that happen? If I knew that, I would have. Uh, I mean, that's that's kind of, that's kind of weird. All the other games are in time pressure, and here we have a lot of time. Okay, now we're going to see. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking I should just go, I mean, his B pawn. All right, I'm going to try to take that pawn over there and then see if I can make a draw here. Okay, I mean, it's Zebulon has got, Zebulon got has some drawing chances here, although I didn't really think he needed to give me the exchange. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably in the game with eminence, not sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
sentences. All right, now let's see if I could uh, let's let's see what I could do here. All right, I'm just gonna protect my stuff and see if I can make a draw in this game with Eminence. Is Eminence? Uh, um, I mean, I'm not sure. I thought there were other games going. The board is not switching. Oh, Eminence added time to my clock. I don't think he needed to do that. I was wondering what kind of. Well, thanks, Eminence, but you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Only two games. Okay, what uh, my score is terrible, isn't it? You know what my score is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now, now, so so there's an Eminence game, and what's the other game? Because Eminence is thinking, and the board hasn't switched. Is is the opponent thinking in the other game? And, and is the other board thinking too? Because oh, okay, good. So when one, someone, if, if the other board moves, it'll pop up. Okay, thanks, Sandro. Yep, I think it went well right, except for my score. And I, I don't know the time control could be a little. Maybe for the next time, it, it could be a little for the other people. It should be a little bit. Um, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe you had 45 second increment or a little more time or something. Yeah. Cause it seemed, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, it seemed like it uh, went by pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. Well, the talking, maybe I should, you know, should have moved more and talked less, but it was fun though. You know, it was, it was, it was a lot of, uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Okay, let's see what's happening. All right, rook takes. Triple pawns don't look too beautiful. I, mean, I I don't know. I mean, this I I thought I was winning in Zebulon. Now now I might have to, I might actually have to like force a draw by getting all the pawns off the board. Um, I don't know. Well, King e five, b six, and and then, you know, I have to be a little careful. I don't lose it. So this is, this is this is another one. I don't know. Can I move my king? B. Let's see, he's pinned, so I wonder if I can bring my king back. King f3, b king. yeah, maybe. All right, I'm going to try to win. It might be crazy to do, but what the heck. So B3, I think my king gets there. All right, now, Eminence is, is king can't, how far can his king go uh, is a good question. I don't know. I have triple pawns. That's, triple pawns can't be good. But the H pawn might be nice. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking about bishop to B5. Does that control his, where does his knight go if I do bishop to B5? Does he have... Does he have something, some spot to go to with his knight? Um, I don't think I should go e4 and give him, give him past pawns. So that's the question. Bishop to b5 sort of feels like a, a good move here. So let's, um, 
But then let's see, bishop to b5, b3. Yeah, I, I guess bishop to b5, let's try it. I mean, I'm not too impressed with my triple pawns. I just have to keep that h pawn over there and hope it's a nice distraction. Okay, check. Uh huh. All right, now. Now, knight c4 is that getting a little uh, a little annoying? Uh, now, king to b3 would king to d4 would be terrible. <laughs> so I have to go. Do I have to go king to e2? All right, let's try king to e2. B3, mm-hmm. Okay, now he's threatening, obviously, to get now. Uh, um, his knight's getting to eat. His knight is getting to A3, so I don't know. Do I have to play king to D2? Okay, let me, let me go king to D2. I think I have to. Okay, now Zebul has moved. He's, so, what's what's happening now? My king is closer now, and his queen, his pawns, queening on would queen on b1, which is a white square. So the bishop can't drive me off. So I'm wondering if I could just go rook to g8 here and take some stuff. Uh, let's see. Um, but then, aha! Uh -huh. But then he might go king to c3 and then so i have to be a little careful so i feel like i should go king to d2 or king to d1 here all right let me go king to d2 all right now i'm trying to come concoct some kind of draw in this game but we'll see if i can actually do it all right i'm going to take his knight and he's going to take me back and i'm going to go h5 can does he have anything? To, can he get his king up there and mate me? That's what. That's how he. What he would have to do. And my pawn is three boxes away from queening. So, I don't know. I mean, all right. Yep. He had, he did that. Mm -hmm. See, he's got to go. He's he's gonna have to go king to d five. And then okay, right. All right, and I have to I I have to go king to b1. And can he win here? King to d5 h6, king to c4 h7 king b3 he wins. But king to d5 h6. Aha, king to d5 h6. King to e6, h7. No, he can't catch it. I thought for a second he could catch it. So I don't know. Maybe I pulled the pull, pull miracle here. His opening was funny, but after that, he played great. Okay, king to f6. Now, all right. And also, there was one game where I was winning, where I, 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 I was on the board and I offered a draw and it switched boards up. Oh, well, Eminence, you played a tough game. Now, thanks for the time, and it was, a, you know, it was a very tough game. I, I got lucky at the end here with this, you know, it's kind of a miracle draw to have that past age point. So, so a good game, uh, Eminence. Uh, I think Eminence deserved to win that game. All right, now, Zebuel is, I, uh, now I, I, I think. Am I just winning here if I go rook to g8? My king is close. I think I should be winning here after rook to g8. Just try and take some stuff. 
I don't know what my score is, but it didn't feel too good. But uh, for, the, for the first time, well, probably next time, uh, next month, I have to maybe talk a little less. Although I mean, I, I, I hope everybody had a good time with the comments and whatnot. And, and it was a pretty, pretty nice uh, um, event. And, and uh, next week, uh, next, well, next Friday, actually, March 14th at 2 p.m. ICC time will be one of the top Spanish grandmasters. Uh, he's been a top player in Spain for a very, very long time, and that's uh, Miguel Ileskis. So that that should be fun also. Uh, so, so you guys can come back and try and take down another GM. All right. So King to C4 from Zebel. Now, can I, if I snatch the pawn, do I have to worry about queening? I don't think so, but, you know, well, all right, I'm going to take the pawn. The good news is the queening square is B1. I can blockade. I don't see. I. I. I mean, it's. It's. I. I. I think it's lost now. I mean, he. He was doing fine. I. I. I think in the opening, well, he did that bishop to b3 thing. This was the Grunfeld. Bishop to b3 discombobulated me a little bit. I think I had to avoid that. But I thought that Zabal was doing fine in this game until he got his rook messed up on uh, on a7, and then after he sacks the exchange, it becomes a real situation. Okay. Now, uh, B2 I catch, so can I just go rook takes E6? Um, I see no way for his king to get involved. My rook is okay. I think I can, now, if I wanted to, I could go king to C1. But, you know, it's one of those positions where I got to, if I can snatch, I have to snatch. And I think that I can. Uh, C2 is met, B2 is met by king C2. So just rook takes e6 looks good. No tricks. Bishop b4 check, king c1 is nice, the king will settle on b1, and I just push my pawns. Or if I want rook e5 could be nice, go after the h pawn. I guess I could just go back here. Uh, bishop to e1, what? I think he just, uh, do I take that bishop and that's the game? But I, it was lost anyway, so. But earlier, yeah, like I said, the, the, when the rook got entombed, that was a problem. I, maybe I was winning then because the rook wasn't playing, and my remaining pieces can hassle the e6 pawn and the g6 pawn. And I think that would be enough to win the game. So rookie one looks good here. And um, uh, so good game, Zebo. I, I, I think, you know, you played very well there. Check that opening out, though, because I, I think the position I got for white is going to be is going to be uh, is going to be better. For, for white, um, I think in those positions with, with the knight on b6, white's always a bit better because black's having trouble getting, you know, m making a uh, attacking the center in the Grunfeld. It's all about attacking the center. So I guess that's it, everybody. Thank you. Um, I hope everybody had a good time. It was tough. Uh, we just came upon it was it took about three hours, but um, well. Actually, no, I'm, I've been on for three hours, the ICC for three hours, but the Simo went for about two hour, two and a half hours and a lot of good games. Um, I don't know, next week, maybe Miguel should get a little more time to, to think than I did, and I'll see you guys next month again. Um, so you can take another shot at me and see everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed this new event, and I and I think it worked out very well. So thank you, everybody, and, uh, and remember Miguel Leskis next Friday, March 14th, at 2 p.m. So this is John Fedorovich for the uh, GM John Fedorovich for the ICC and the Simon Master Series. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Bye.